My name is Maria, Maria Simonova. I'm 11 years old. And I'm living in Moscow in a London school number 1905. And I'm people of all English and so good with them. Last year I took part in this wonderful competition of Macmillan and I was given a first place. I was very happy. Everyone loves being a winner, isn't it true? And this fact inspired me to read more and more every soul is clear. And and when the school year was over, I began to read books without stopping. So if last year there were mostly explorers books, this year my books are much higher of the level readers, uh, pretty medium form, and even five level. So these books are far from the maiden crowd. Room number thirteen: scary stories. Selected stories by by Lauren. Kids before dying. In Loud Detective and Heidi. Today I want to tell you about this book because, because when I met out in this book I liked this girl. I thought I thought she looks like me and it was a mistake because as soon as I started reading look this book starts in the description of of one village of nature. Look, in spring and summer, the snow disappears from the slopes and valleys, and you can see grass and pretty flowers everywhere. And I clearly remember that very moment. My one village. It's far, far from Moscow. It's near Asikeva. Now look, look at these pictures. Look at these pretty flowers. It's me, I'm only three years old. And this is my little village. The village of my grandma and grand grandma. And since I was very young, my mom took me to the village and I stayed all summer in this lovely house. And since, and since my only childhood, I've been in love with, with my village, with my granny and grand-granny. This is a girl Heidi. She was of an age and her aunt took her to her grandpa, Uncle Al. This old man was very disagreeable, but they became very, very good friends. And Heidi could love, could love her grandpa and granny so much that she couldn't live without them. And she was taken to the great town. And though she was treated very well, she felt so homesick that they had they had to let her come back. So do I very often uh, during during my school year in autumn and winter I close my eyes and clearly remember my village, my granny and granny granny. That's why maybe this book touched me so much. So my dear friends, I would recommend to read all these books if you really enjoy it yourself. Bye!